Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today I am filming this look right here. It is my bridal trial makeup look that I did on myself today. I've been trying to practice for the wedding because it is literally three months away. So I wanted to film this video and you know, I wanted you guys to see how I will possibly have my makeup for the wedding. So if you're interested in um, finding out the products that I used or how I achieved this look, um, go ahead and keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel on the little corner button and um, like this video, thumbs up. And then if you want to look, want to see how this, how I got this, then keep watching. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to be using this moisturizer by Kiehl's. It's the Ultra Facial Cream. And I love this cream. I actually like started watching um, a lot of videos of how like Ariel does his makeup mm -hmm. and I discovered that um, this cream was what he uses as a primer. And I tried it the other day to do my makeup on Saturday. And um, I noticed that my face was moisturized all day. My makeup stayed on all day too. And I always have problems in this area right here when I put on translucent powder because it like gets so dried out. And I have recently switched my translucent powder, but I'll get to that a little bit later. Um, but yeah, I noticed that my skin was so moisturized and for your wedding, you want your skin to be glowy, moisturized the whole entire day, especially for pictures and like, you know, if you're going to be outside, like my wedding is going to be an outdoor wedding. So basically like I want my skin to be moisturized the whole entire day. I don't want it to look cakey at the end of the day um, and especially outside because the sun is going to hit you really hard and show off like basically all your pores you know when you're in the sun like you can see all the little blotches that you have um because it's so bright out but yeah so basically i just use this moisturizer and next i am going to be doing my brows and i do have a brow tutorial on my channel um which i'm going to be using the same products so if you want like an in-depth um, brow tutorial go ahead and I will have the link down below or up here on the top you guys can go ahead and click that but yeah I'm going to be doing my eyebrows really quick and then I'll be right back so my eyebrows are done so now I'm going to go and put on my foundation and I'm going to be using the born this way foundation and this is in the shade Warm Beige. Okay, so basically I only grab, I only use a foundation and put it on my cheeks. And on my forehead, I put very little foundation so that I don't look cakey. And then what I do is I grab a little bit of foundation and I put it like on this side of my eye. I don't put it in my dark circles i don't put foundation right there because that's where i have like um a problem that if i put too much foundation i'll look cakey okay so i had to get my ring light because the lighting was super rough okay and resume next i am going to be putting on my um concealer and this is by nars and this is a radiant creamy concealer um, and this is in the color Macadamia. You don't need to use a lot and it gives you that natural glow under your eye. And it's creamy and, and it's just perfect. I just love it. Somebody was distracting me. So I miss this whole spot of foundation. Next, I'm going to be using another concealer and this is going to brighten up my face and I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is like a must 
for your wedding you just have to use this concealer um and this is in the shade light medium honey and use it on my forehead on my cupid's bow and on my chin and i'm going to grab my baby blender and i'm going to spritz this with my fix plus And then I'm going to dab. Because I noticed that the Shape Tape Concealer, if you have dry skin, it might not be your best friend. And that's what I was noticing that when I would put this concealer under my eyes, like alone. Um, that's when you could tell that I had really, really dry under eye circles. And it would just make my skin look super wrinkly and super dry. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Cover FX setting powder to set my under eyes and my face. But I want that glowy skin for, you know, for your wedding day. So... I don't want to use too much of this. So I'm going to be taking my beauty blender and I'm going to be setting or baking while I do my um, eyeshadow. And then I'm going to be using this right here to like shape my face <laughs> okay so I'm gonna bake my face while I bake my face I'm going to do my eyeshadow now my eyeshadow is gonna be super easy super simple the first shade that I'm gonna be using is from this wet and wild contouring palette and this is in the shade or it's from Dulce de Leche and I freaking love this as a transitioning shade. And I'm going to be using the Morphe M573 brush. And this has basically been my go-to eyeshadow. Or it's not even eyeshadow, it's like for contouring. But I love how it ties everything in. And yeah, for my wedding, I don't really want to wear a lot of eyeshadows. I just want to keep it super natural and I also use this as like a nose contour so I bring this eyeshadow in all the way to my nose and I'm just going to blend this in all over my crease and in front of my eyeshadow I could go out the house like this like just wearing this shade and put on you know mascara or lashes if you want and then call it a day but because you know it's the wedding and you want it to be a little bit more dramatic but in a natural smoky way so I'm going to be using another shade and this is going to be from the Jaclyn Hill palette so I'm going to be going in with this color right here and I don't know what shade it is because it doesn't have any shade names so sorry about that and I lost a little cover sheet but I'm going to be going in with this shade right here and then I'm going to be going in with in the crease using this color using the same brush and then I'm just gonna flare this out up here bring this a little bit higher I'm gonna be grabbing a bigger sh um, brush and this is the R36 brush and I'm just gonna be using this to blend it out even more and next I'm going to be using this brush and it just says Morphe on it. Sorry, I don't know what number this is, but it's basically like a round tapered brush that 
not it's not hard it's more it's fluffier but it's kind of like a round tapered brush so i'm going to be going back to my um wet and wild dulce de leche palette and i'm going to be using this white um shade right here put that on the brush and i'm going to be putting this color on my lid and then i am going to be going back in with the jacqueline hill palette and i'm going to be adding this color right here this like little shimmer color on my inner corner and it's just gonna make my eye pop out a little bit now that i have this it's basically my look is basically done already i don't want to add any more eyeshadows to it i don't want it to be darker on the side i like it like this so i'm going to be using um this brush right here and taking off the bait and don't worry, I'm going to put fake eyelashes on, but I want to put on my face first. And I also need to set my eyebrows now that we're done with them. So I'm going to be using this uh, Anastasia like little Beverly Hills brush because it's clean. And I'm just going to put some of that cover effects on my eyebrows. And then I'm going to be using this little Glossier boy brow and down below is a little discount code um if you haven't purchased it before it's a really really good and then i'm just gonna comb my eyebrows up give it that little fluffy look so next i'm gonna be using this um what is it contour stick by fenty beauty and this is in the color latte and i'm going to be putting this on my hand around it in a circle and then I'm going to be using my um, Real, Techniques, Real Techniques brush and this is a sculpting brush and then I'm just going to go ahead and like this with my hand Okay, so I'm gonna put on my blush, and this is in the color. T this is in the color T Rose. I'm using this fluffy brush by Morphe. I'm just gonna put this in the apples of my cheek. I can love this blush. Like, look how simple and just like natural it makes your skin look. Freaking love it. My favorite highlighter that of course I have to use on the day of my wedding is going to be the Dose of Colors Fuego Highlighter by um, Desi and Katie because this is like my favorite highlighter ever and it complements my skin so well but I'm not going to be using it as much because I just want that like simple, simple bridal glow. So where's my Mia and then in my apples of my cheek just right there I usually bring it down all the way right there but today I'm just going to be using it right here because I just want that like pop of you know highlight and then I'm going to be putting that um, on the bridge of my nose and my Cupid's bow. And then up here. So when you turn around, you just have that glow a little bit on my forehead. And under. under my chin Ooh, okay so now i just have to put on my lashes but for that i have to do it off camera because i suck at putting on lashes in front of the camera 
So I will be right back. Okay, so I put my lashes on and I just put any lashes on. I forgot what these are called, but they're a house of lashes. And um, for my wedding, I'm actually gonna have eyelash extensions because you know, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be crying and um, I don't want like my eyelashes to fall off or anything like that. Plus I find eyelashes to be super uncomfortable. Like the only reason why I put lashes on is when I film videos or like, you know, go out, but like I find them to be super uncomfortable like I just hate lashes so I would rather have eyelash extensions um, but I'm gonna be I just put the lashes on and I usually put the mascara on after I put on the lashes so I'm going to be using this scuba um, waterproof mascara and this is by the balm this is probably like the best mascara I have ever had like for a waterproof mascara so I am going to be putting this on my um, to blend in my top lashes with the eyelash extensions and yeah these lashes are so big so if you want like a nice dramatic lashes this is definitely like the lash um that you would want to go with and they're super fluffy so i'm going to finish off my under eye area and basically i'm just going to be going in with that same um, contouring palette um, dulce de leche and I'm going to just put this under my eyes to give it a little bit of more darkness under here before I put on my mascara then I'm going to be going back in with that shade that I used for the Jaclyn Hill palette which was this like little orangey shade right there and I'm going to be putting that under my eye the under eye area a lot more and then i'm going to be going in with the same scuba waterproof mascara because you know you need waterproof mascara and i'm going to be putting that on my bottom lashes okay so i'm going to be spritzing my face one more time to make sure everything sets in Lastly, I'm going to be putting on my lipstick to finish the look and I'm going to be using the lip liner by Kylie Jenner called Kylie. I'm going to be using a lipstick by Morphe and this is in the shade um, Matte, Matte Wifey. And I'm going to be putting this in the center of my lips. You know, Jaclyn Hill came up with a whole bunch of nudes. So, like nude lipsticks that are coming out. And I definitely want to try those before I like, you know, settle with the color that I want. It's definitely going to be like one of those moments where I'm just going to go with the flow and like, you know, um, whatever color I'm feeling that day. I'm just gonna hood it on. Hmm, but I really do like this lip combo. But yeah, this is the look. I'm gonna go um, put something on and then I'll be right back. Alright, I don't know how I'm gonna do my hair yet. This is just something that I like, I threw up and like, you know. I'm gonna have it up for the wedding, but I don't know how I'm gonna have my hair. But yeah, this is my makeup trial. Um, I just wanted to like film a video on how I am going to do my own makeup for the wedding because I am gonna do my own makeup. Um, I just thought like, you know, I have all the stuff already. I have lots of brushes, lots of makeup, and then I'm the one that knows my own face and I don't trust anyone, you know, doing my makeup or I don't wanna pay anyone to do my makeup because I can do my own makeup. Um, since I know like all the angles and how I like my eyebrows and my eyeshadow to look so yeah So this is my beauty um, wedding makeup trial I just want to film it and this is something my makeup's gonna look something like this um, without the eyeshadow um, without this um, Without these of course the eyelashes, but you know 
they look cute right now or like uh, my eyelashes are gonna look something like this so yeah I wanted to film this video I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and um, let me know what you guys think down below and if you are gonna do your own makeup for your wedding or would you rather hire someone let me know down below and then I am going to film a lot of new videos coming up um, I want to film like a um, white dress series of like all the events that I'm going to be going to like the bachelorette party the bridal shower the rehearsal dinner like um, you know um, engagement pictures so I'm going to be filming that soon for you guys and then also a skincare routine that I've been doing um, if you notice my skin has improved a lot and now when I put on my foundation it's not like super cakey or blotchy so yeah, I wanted to film that for you guys. So yeah, I have lots of videos. I haven't been filming as much because, you know, um, I've been, sorry. I've been wedding planning and, you know, just like being super busy and working and trying to get this whole wedding down. And I also wanted to film like a series or like a video of um, wedding planning, like questions um, that you may have or anything like that. So yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video. And then I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye. So what I did is like I basically... I basically just put foundation yeah, like I mean? half right there. Izzy, what happened? Mm. Leave me alone. Is this is why I should have recorded yesterday. What brand is it? It's Too Faced Warm Beige Foundation. Are you recording me? No. What, what, I thought, what eyeliner is that? Go what, away. What eyeliner? Okay, I'll stop that. Okay, I'll stop. Do I have a over again? you have a over? No. So basically... Born this way, Too Faced Foundation. <laughs> so stupid.